I think Tesla superchargers are great, but if you use them, no one can deny the fact that the charge length to run the cable to your charge port is incredibly short. Even if you're driving a Tesla, you have to be all the way backed up and perfectly aligned. And if you happen to be driving a different type of vehicle that is trying to use a Tesla charger and your charge port isn't in the ideal location or your car is oversized like my F-150 Lightning, there are chargers that you simply cannot use unless you're willing to double park. And even then sometimes the supercharger cable simply is not long enough to reach that port. And for the longest time, there was no solution to this. If you happen to drive a vehicle that wasn't a Tesla, you simply could not use certain superchargers, which is not convenient if you happen to be traveling and have limited access to chargers in your area. However, Hancho has finally come up with a product that acts as a solution for these short chargers, and I'm gonna go over it on the channel today. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Max, and let's get into it. All right, so here we have another unboxing from company Hancho. This time, what they've sent me is actually a Tesla supercharger extender. Up until very recently, there was no product to market to attach to those cables that would allow you to extend that length while also charging something that did not run on a Knox connector. Hand shows come in, they've developed a product that is supposed to extend that and work with the supercharger, which will be awesome for my Ford F-150 Lightning, as it not only has to deal with those short cables, but also a very large front to actually get to that charging area to begin with. So very excited to unbox this and test it out on this channel for review today. All right, so very nicely packaged cable we have here with heavy duty foam, which should make people feel good about spending the type of money that this extension costs. Definitely not gonna get damaged in transit. In here, we have a customer statement from Hancho thanking you for the purchase. You have some QR codes that take you to the virtual directions. And then of course you have the cable itself. And this thing is heavy duty. On this side, you can see this is the input where you plug in the supercharger end. And this is obviously your supercharging CCS adapter. Now, if you can't tell by looking at it, this thing is definitely, definitely heavy duty. It feels like the cabling that you have on chargers when you're doing public fast charging. So let's get some of this plastic off. So yeah, this is definitely a nice extension to what would be on a Tesla charger by default. And it looks like it would add about three to four feet of length to what you already were dealing with. So this should be just enough to make it a lot less stressful when looking for a charger, giving you a lot more options if you're at a tight supercharger location with a Tesla charger that usually would not reach your charge port. So yeah, let's get out in the wild and take this thing for a test run. So using this product is incredibly easy. As you can see, when I pull up my F-150 Lightning to the supercharger, if I am lined up in the spot I'm supposed to be in using the charger that's assigned to that spot, it does not reach my port. So unless I wanna park and block other chargers, I am out of luck with using this particular supercharger. However, with the Hancho supercharging extender, I can hook that up to the Tesla supercharger, plug it into my vehicle, and then using my phone to sync with the charger and start that third party charge, I'm able to access a supercharger that would otherwise be unavailable to my vehicle. So we plug it in, we get everything situated, and as you can see, after going through those steps, my car is starting to charge as it would if it was directly plugged in through a typical adapter. And like I said before, this is awesome for anyone who road trips with an EV, because oftentimes superchargers are the only ones available in a given area, unless you want to drive really far, and most of the time they're the only ones that are charging at that 250 kilowatt plus rate, or they're the only ones that are supercharging in the area, and if you happen to have a big car and you try to park next to these things, you really don't want to block other people's spots to charge your car, or if many of the spots are in use, you simply would not be able to use that charger if you were to pull up. Now, when you're done with charging, Hancho is very specific with the safety instructions. When you disconnect this, given that that's a lot of voltage going through an extension cable, what you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that the charging has been stopped in the app prior to disconnecting. Then when you confirm that it stopped and there's no longer electricity running through the cable to the vehicle, you can unhook as you typically would from the charge port in your car and then unhook the cable from the Tesla supercharger cable. But yeah, it's as easy as that. 
this is an amazing solution. And as someone who drives two EVs and has to use the F-150 for all of our family road trips, this is an absolute must have. It makes all those times where I would not be able to charge without blocking other people a non-issue. And if you've road tripped with an EV before, you know that a lot of times a Tesla supercharger is the best available option for your vehicle. And if there's limited access or they're crowded, you might not be able to use that at all times if you're not already driving a Tesla that's made for those spots in that shorter cable run. This accessory is a must have because it eliminates that issue and it opens up normal use of Tesla superchargers that don't have the best positioning for their charge ports. And honestly, even if you're able to use Tesla superchargers without an extension, this is probably still a good product to have because oftentimes I see people having to park super close or position the cars in weird ways just to use the Tesla superchargers. With this, you can park in normally. You don't have to worry about getting all the way up to the charger to the point where you're basically touching the guardrail or the post or the charger itself to get close enough for that wire to run. This makes it way more convenient to have this four foot cable extension to hook to that supercharger so that you can comfortably park into that spot and plug in. It is more on the expensive side at $599, but given the convenience and security that it adds by giving you access to all these chargers that you might not have access to on a road trip, I really find it invaluable. And if you use my code MightyMax at checkout, you can get 20% off your entire order, which makes it a little bit more affordable and palatable for people that are interested. I'll include links to Hancho's site and this specific product in the description below if you are interested. They have a ton of great products, not just the charging extension shared. And I've done a ton of different videos on the different products for Teslas or different EVs. So worth checking them out or any of the other videos I've posted if you wanna see what they're all about. But yeah, that's all I have to talk about today. If you did like this video and you want to see more, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to see more. As always, thank you so much for watching. Until next time.